Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to show you how to calculate the sample size of your study or to perform a pre priori power analysis using the G Power software. So, in the previous video, I have already told you how to download the G Power software. So, now after opening the software, we need to know some basic things before performing the power analysis. So, first thing we need to know the test that we are going to perform. Generally, we perform the t test, and in t test, we generally go for this means difference between two independent means. So we generally compare between two groups, right? Now in the type of power analysis, as I already mentioned, we are performing the pre priori analysis. So we will keep it as a priori, right? Now in the input parameters, the first option is the tail. So in tail, you can see there is either one tail study or two tail study. So generally we perform two tail study as we have two type of hypothesis and we do not know what group will be better before performing the statistical analysis. So generally, we do not do any superiority trial. So we keep the tail as two tail study. Now, please ask your guide about this if you are not sure. And the second point is the effect size. So this is the most important thing. The effect size or Cohen's D value, we need to find it from an article. Now, here in this article, that neuromuscular electrical stimulation effect on lower extremity motor recovery and gait in stroke patient. So here in this article, go to the sample size section and here in sample size, you will get this. The minimal effect size for NMES in motor recovery has been reported as 0.54 for stroke patient. So now if you are doing a study using NMES and your target population are stroke patients, so then you can take this 0.54 as your Cohen's effect size P. So here I am writing 0.54. Now, alpha error problem, we generally keep it as 0.05. For power, that is 1 minus beta, we keep it as 0.80, that is 80% power. And the allocation ratio into slash n1, that is the number of patients that we are going to keep in each of the group. So generally, we divide our patients equally in each group. So we keep it as 1. Now, after doing all this, we need to click on the calculate value. So after calculation, we can see that the total sample size is 110. So we need to take 110 patients if we need to fulfill our this part, that is our input parameters. Or in short, if we keep our study at 80% power and the effect size is 0.54, then we need to take sample size 110, where each of the group will have 55 patients each. Now, to keep a proof of this, you can do two things. First, you need to download this graph. So after that, just click on the file button and click print distribution plot. Here, just go here and write S1, whatever name you want to suggest. Then also on the protocol of power analysis, right? Here also click print protocol and save the file. Now, after doing that, you can see from the text of you can get this graph and also the sample size calculation. So you can show this sample size calculation when you are submitting your dissertation. Okay, so this is it. And if you think that I have simplified the power calculation for you, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe the video. Thank you.